Snakes. Love them or hate them, Tracy, they get your attention. Just last week, we reported how the Lake Erie water snake has been removed from the federal list of threatened species. News Channel 5's Ted Cortan visited one of the people most responsible for the change. She's known as the Snake Lady. Earlier this summer, we showed you all the Lake Erie water snakes around the Lake Erie Islands. I've been studying the water snakes since the summer of 2000. Kristen Stanford, known as the Snake Lady, has helped this species go from less than 2,000 snakes 10 years ago. Right now, we're looking at about 12,000 on the Lake Erie Islands, so they're doing quite well. I had to take the ferry over to South Bass Island, where the Snake Lady and her biology students do their work. Flipping mats. And uh, hopefully we'll find a snake underneath, and then we can tag it and take it back to the lab and record all its data. I know that this is a female snake right away because it's so big. 874 grams. So I'm measuring what we call her snout to vent length. Basically a tiny little microchip. Just some of the scientific methods used, which generate all of our population estimates and survivorship estimates, population density, and that's what we use to report back to the agencies on how well the snakes are doing. And they're doing great off the threatened list, and that makes the snake lady proud. Fish and Wildlife Service is actually so proud that they're trying to use this as an example of the success stories of how the Endangered Species Act and how recovery is supposed to work. On your side on South Bass Island, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5. Well, the snake lady says the abundance of brown goby fish in western Lake Erie has helped the snake population recover. And you'll be happy to know that she also said that the Lake Erie water snakes are not aggressive or harmful to humans or pets. Does that make you feel any better? No. No. <laughs>